Hello everyone, welcome back to Tap and Sack. I'm nursing a little bit of a bad throat, so don't mind me. But today on Spellslingers, we'll be playing Gideon's Day Out, the weekend event whereby you can summon Gideon onto the battlefield when you have 3 attackers, but this time you can use any hero and you can also use different colors. So let's go have some fun. Okay, we're gonna go back into the event, we're gonna spend that 500 gold. Uh, remember, we want to try to get as many attackers out as possible. With three attacking at one time, we can then summon Gideon. And so far, what I've seen is that the first player that summons Gideon is usually the one that comes out as the winner. So we want to try to get to be the first one doing that. And hopefully that will get us some more gold. Alright, so this is the deck that we're going to go with for Chandra, Splashing White. Uh, I don't have Nahiri and I don't have Domri, so we can't use those. But basically, I think Red White Aggro would be pretty good. We're going to put in some hasty creatures that will allow us to activate Gideon's uh, Day Out trigger to get Gideon on the board. So let's look at the white cards. We have Oath of the Paladin, which is the class card that can create a creature and also uh, kill deal damage to the opponent or to the opponent's creature. And then the last spell, Aura of Courage, can buff all your creatures whenever they attack. One copy of Glorious Anthem. Uh, it gives all our creatures plus one plus one, so if you have a lot of small creatures, this is a great buff for 3 mana, you could potentially get a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five power boost. Two copies of Sky Knight Legionnaire because it's flying and haste, so basically it's like a free attacker. So if you have two attackers already on the board and on turn 3 you cast this, then you can bring Gideon onto the battlefield and deal more damage. This is also a card that I added in just for this event, it's a Goblin Field Rusher. So 4 mana for 2-2, two, two, but you do get a free Raging Goblin, so that counts as a second creature. So basically for 4 mana, you get 2 attacking creatures with haste, and that can help you get Gideon on the board as well, and deal more damage. I've not used Ball Lightning before, but it's a great classic card in red. So I'm going to put 2 copies of this in, 3 mana for 6-1 with Trample and Haste can deal a lot of damage. The only downside here is that it will die at the end of turn, so if you're triggering Gideon once, the next turn you're not going to be able to use Ball Lightning again to trigger. So make sure you keep that in mind and decide whether you want to play him that turn or later on in the game. Let's do this. Wow, we're playing against Liliana. First time in this event. We've got Fire Elemental, Field Rusher, and Ball Lightning. Um, I think we can keep... It would be better to have some smaller creatures first. Okay, maybe we'll get the the mutt, the steed, on turn one. But we don't. Oh, all right. Let's pass the turn. That would have been nice. But unfortunately, I think today is not our lucky day. Merchant of Death. Uh, we're gonna cast our elemental and pass. So free, free damage for them. I think. Oops. Take it. Ooh. Nothing from them. Hmm. If that's the case, then I will go with the Minotaur, and I will send both. Okay, pass the turn. Wow, they get back, zombie. Okay. But now we've got the Field Rusher, which I mentioned before is great because it counts as two attackers. And then we can swing in. So even, even if they kill one of them, the rest are still alive for the next attack. And with our other hasty creatures, we can resummon Gideon. So let's pass. Okay, I guess uh, that Liliana build is really a lot of the bigger creatures for Liliana, so they're probably casting one creature at a time, and that is too slow for our aggro deck. Ah, I guess Ungraf, the other aggro spell slinger written black. So maybe we get rid of Ball Lightning. Untested Rookie? Okay. May not be very useful here, but let's try. Pack of the Warlock. Okay, 
And we have our own class card, Paladin. Uh, it's the Shipwrecker, okay. I could burn it so that I don't take two damage. So let's do that. And I'm gonna cast a rookie. Next turn, I can use the steed to buff it plus two, zero plus one. So hopefully that would give it survivability. But nope. All right, but we can just recast the rookie now and recast the steed. So same plan. We're gonna buff plus zero plus one to the rookie. Whoa. That is a big guy. So I could smite it or I could shock it or I could just cast a minotaur and swing it for everything. I think I'm gonna smite it, make use of all our mana and then we'll just attack. We don't get to do Gideon this turn but hopefully next turn we can shock something and also do the minotaur. Uh, I just hope they don't have anything bigger than two toughness. Okay, reaching goblin and the closet. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And here we go, Oh wow. Ouch, that is a six six beast. Um, I don't think it makes sense to block, so we're just gonna pass. But you know, Gu basically. Uh, takes them away from the Gideon threshold. Unfortunately, all I can do is just do this and attack. Next turn, I guess, if we have Aura of Courage, we can just buff um, our guys. So they block the Minotaur. Okay. Six tree is still very big, so we'll just pass. And now it's a 7 tree. Ouch. Got the goblin. I think I'll block. We got a rebuild now, so maybe I can just shock Yunogu later on. So I'll just block. I'll take some trample damage. And hopefully the volcano can also help us, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna shock and then cast a legionnaire and attack. Pass the turn. So they kind of have two cards left. We also have two cards, one on the field, one in our hand. Uh, really wondering what they might have. Take down. Okay, uh, good thing is that I have a Raging Goblin and with the Aura of Courage I can become a tree to and pass the turn. Ooh, this person the grave, nice. Flame shot. All right, we're gonna keep this first. Uh, hopefully our Volcano will activate soon and Give us something to attack Angraf with. Famish Fiend. The volcano is not doing any work, but I think we have to kill this off now. And we just cast the Lemur and pass the turn. Okun the Crusher and a Shock. Oh boy. Glorious Anthem, oh no. <laughs> ah, Alright, pass the turn. There, wisdom is oh. Oh, well, Volcano, please save me. Or Shock. Or uh, Flame Shot. Alright, Volcano, let's do it. 
Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, Helm Elf Cave. Nothing. Shipwrecker. Okay. But I think they have to block me later on. Yeah, alright. This is a good game. But, um. It was close. We almost uh, didn't make it. But thanks to our hasty creatures, I think uh, we have a little bit of the edge. And we had to rely on the volcano to get rid of Okun. Um, two damage one turn and two damage the other turn. So. Looks like the, the luck has turned. Against Raska will be a tough match unless we get the right cards, which unfortunately we don't. Okay, so I think this is better. We've got one creature per turn, and hopefully that will be enough to apply enough pressure with Gideon. Because you're going to get a lot of value through there cards as well with the finale triggers. Flame shot might help us, so let's cast a lemur, pass a turn. I imagine the grub will be out or an infectious scorpion. Um so I'm not going to attack I'll just pass a turn. Grudge match, nice. So I don't think I want to shock it now because I can use flame shot to maybe do a two for one. We'll go right through them. Sure, let's just attack. <clears throat> sure, why don't I attack with both, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. There's the closet. No You won't stand alone. Okay, pass through. Not doing so well against Raska, unfortunately. Craft. Oh boy. I guess we do a ball lightning, you know. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Um, sure. Let's just do that. Okay, we take it from the ball lightning. So I could shock it, I guess. Let's just do it. Pass the turn. I could have waited till next turn for a flame shot, but if they cast something else bigger, uh, then that's not good for me. So Goif is not too bad, but it's still pretty big. So let's pass. Oh, Worm's Wake. Yeah, that is bad for us. Too many big blockers. Abyssal Chain, hmm, I think I'll have to take it first. <coughs> it's really not going to do much for me. So I'm just going to Flame Shot. I think that's pretty much what we can, that's the only thing we can do. Let's try to deal direct damage. There. Okay, pretty much down to tree life. Ouch. Ah, this might be better. So if we cast the field rusher, and now we can deal four damage to something. Strike them down. And now 
we can attack. Ooh, the block Gideon. Okay. So that leaves us with four creatures unless they have a uh, infest, which they might have. And that would be a problem. Southpaw, three mana left, it's not infest. Woo! Did we do it? Alright, let's attack. Is that enough for a comeback win? I think it is. So we managed to come back. Well, I thought we were dead with that smite and the flame shot, but just nice. We drew the right card to Goblin Field Rusher creating two more attackers and doing four damage to them. So good win. Okay, so we managed to make it all the way to four wins thanks to this red-white deck uh, with Chandra as a spell slinger. We're splashing white, so lots of hasty creatures to give additional speed, I guess, to the deck. Make sure we're attacking as soon as possible with three attackers. We're also using the Paladin skill class card, although I think that's not uh, very important here. Haste is what you need, as well as maybe some burn spells to get rid of the opponent's creatures. And you do rely on Gideon a lot. So if you're not able to kill off the opponent by the mid-game, then that's when they try to come back. So hopefully you put in a lot of uh well you put in a lot of small creatures, but also some late game stuff like Hell Rider can deal damage directly, maybe even a lava axe to deal five damage to the opponent. So try the event out before it ends and or if you miss it, maybe when it comes back in the future, you can try it out then. But otherwise, a nice game to play, or well, a nice event to play. Uh, I like using Gideon, it's just that he's not really that strong in the meta right now. So playing him in this like uh, one-off event is good, you know, just to get some goal and some playing experience as well. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you will like and subscribe. Uh, watching and commenting will help us a lot. And tell us what you like to see or what deck you were using for this event. We hope to take part in more events in the future. So yeah, do subscribe to support us. We really appreciate it. You can also check out our website at tapandsack.com if you want to see more Magic the Gathering content. But till then, take care, stay safe. We'll see you guys next time.